all right guys welcome back to another video all right so guys so i did a video on this a couple months ago microsoft pc manager so this is just a revision giving you guys an update on what's going on and how the software is going right so i know you guys have uh the legion go it's been a year now year and couple months or a year and one month something like that right you guys been using it for a year a whole year and I'm sure you got a lot of junk. It might be slowing down now, giving you some issues, having some small e cups and stuff like that. This software right here helps you to keep your system clean and keep it up and spiffy and sturdy and running just like the day when you just got it and when you boot it up for the first time, right? One more thing is um, when I first post the video, most people in different region, different country weren't able to download it. I'll also show you guys a little small, easy workaround just to get it, just in case if you're in UK or any other country, that it wasn't available in right so first thing i want you guys to do if you come here to the microsoft store you could just come here you type with your microsoft pc manager it should come up right here and you can install it right from here so now if you don't see it in here depending on what country you're in you could just go to let me close this out go here you go to settings then when you get here you type in region you go to region settings when you get in, oh i was already here already so when you get into this section right here you're going to see country or region you click on this right here you just look for the united states if you're in the uk let's come to the united states and then exit out of here go back to the store tap it in and then you should see pop up now on your on your microsoft store download it and then you up and running so let me just show you features that you have and what it could do for you and how it keep your system running spiffy always right so when you first download you open it up first menu is home you'll see right here you see pc boost you can see also set smart boost so you can set it automatically do it whenever you want so you don't have to come back in here and do it manually so you come in here you can set it up if you want so you see right here it says 36 percent memory usage and 294 megabytes temporary file so if you hit boost it will just boost up the system, clean up all our temporary files. But as I said before, if you have this for a year, you've been playing a lot of games, you've been sideloading drivers to your system, and you're not deleting stuff, all those files are still in your system, guys. And those files are not needed. So the more you have piled up and hogging up your memory and your storage, the slower your device is going to be. So this right here help you out a lot. Come down a little bit here, you can go you get your health check, and it tells you what's going on and you can also proceed and you clean up and then clean up your system again clean up your so you clean up your cache in your recent list files go back go to processes it shows everything that's on your system that's running right now and here you could end it if you're playing game you don't want to have most of everything running at the same time so anything that you're not using like widgets and stuff like that just end that because right now it's in your memory you're taking up your memory and if, you, if you're feeling kind of sluggish when you're playing a game, a game having any type of e-cups or anything like that, stutters, this might help you out. So come in here, clean up your memory, guys. Go back, you got clean, deep clean again. So if you go to deep clean, this is going to do a deep dive clean. So it's going to scan all your files in your system. And you come down here, it'll show you all the stuff that it could clean up and how much megabytes and stuff you will get back. So if in total right here, so it'll show you the total on the side of how much you could get back. And if you could hit proceed, it would clean up around 764 megabytes you go to startup apps you don't need every app to be starting up when you boot up a device if there's a more than a couple apps like starting up at the same time that slows down your boot time so if you want to get right into your game just like if you have a regular xbox or playstation console you want to make sure you disable whatever you're not using so that it goes right into your system right away instead of you waiting for six different files to boot up so you could come in here guys, disable whatever you have in here to give you a faster boot up time. Next, if you come down to protection here, you could scan your system right here. You don't have to go down here in your windows. Everything is right here in this application PC manager. You could scan and it will bring you into your security system and it will do a scan for any type of threats or any virus, any malware in your device. So yeah guys, so that's basically it. So if you have any questions for me, any type of issue or any, as I said, question, problem, Drop a comment down below, guys. I do my best to respond. And guys, please give me some time to reply to you guys. Because sometimes I'm getting a lot of comments. And I also got a 9 to 5. So I got to keep that up. And I got other day-to-day -day stuff that I got to do. So I can't reply to every message. At the same time, you guys send them. So just give me some time. And I'll reply. Trust me, you got to reply. If I can help you out, then I'll help you out. If I can't, then I'll try to recommend you to somewhere else where you could get help. Right? But if you like what I'm posting, guys, hit that like button. Sub to channel for more awesome content, guys. And remember what I always say, 
Health is world. Peace and love. I'm Mark, guys. Thanks for tuning in.